So it's been a bit of a minute since we've last taken a look at the T90A. And yes, the vehicle's been out for a little under a year, which is kind of surprising because this vehicle has seen quite a few changes. Some not really for the better, others for the better. It's kind of confusing. I'll explain in just a quick second. But first, let's go ahead and talk about today's sponsor, Free GE. So if you're someone who plays War Thunder but can't quite play on a regular basis, yet you still have the desire to get Golden Eagles but don't really want to spend actual money, well, there's a free app called Free GE, which is a legitimate and simple app that allows you to earn Golden Eagles simply by following the shown methods, which includes watching ads, answering surveys, playing games, and much more, all while earning free GE for War Thunder. Once you reach a specific threshold, you can transfer the GE to your account. And if you use my registration code listed below down in the description, you'll be able to earn 10 free Golden Eagles immediately upon registering. And yes, it does help out the channel tremendously. Thank you. So digging a little bit deeper into the T90A, what has really changed in its short life? Well, in all honesty, quite a few things. So much so that it kind of got left behind just a little bit. And I'll explain that again in just a quick second. So diving into some of the changes, the biggest one being the, I guess, the unstable nature of battle rating or where it sits at. It was when it first came in, the top dog at 10.7, and then it dropped to 10.3. Not a whole lot of people were very happy with that. Me personally, I was kind of excited because I enjoy Russia very much, but I understood why that was kind of a bad idea. And then the BR changes rolled on by when the T80 BVM came in, the T72B3 moved up, as did the T90A. So now it sits right back at 10.7, while not being the top tier tank, although 10.7 is top tier, it's not the very tip of it. And some of the changes do include a different shell type while keeping the same penetration values. And I'll explain what I mean right here. So check this out. It does get, instead of the 3BM42M Lakalo, it now gets the 3BM46 uh, Sfinets round. This is not the Sfinets 1 or the 2. This is the original one, which makes this vehicle a little bit more historically accurate, at least from what I've been told. But that's honestly where some of the changes really stop. It's still a very unique tank in the sense that, well, it looks pretty. I mean, come on, this is a very aggressive, very pretty looking tank, at least in my eyes. But it gets a laser warning system, laser range finder uh, combo, which is very nice. And it does have the... Uh, I guess the active protection system, which in all honesty is very much a gimmick. I know I said that at the, uh, the start of the previous video of this vehicle, and it still holds true to this day. The Stora APS doesn't really do anything against any missile at top tier, and you won't really be facing too much toes, which is, I, I don't know. I've been told that it's supposed to work against it. Not really. I don't know. I'll let the history buffs and the technical junkies deal with that. But aside from that, it does still have one of the best or the well-protected or the most well-protected turrets uh, for Russian tanks. And it has a very small breach too. Doesn't really help it much, but it does help just a bit. While at the same time, also having one of the best optics, 2.7 times to 12 times, still the same. Very nice to have that. And a commander sight, 1 times to 8 times. And the commander can control it, I believe. See right here, once I can go ahead and click on him, there we go. Yeah, he can fire the main armament, so if you lose your gunner, that's really nice to have. But unfortunately, that's where some of the good changes, at least for most Russian tanks, really stops. Now, if you didn't realize already, which I'm sure you already did, the T-72B3 and the T-80 BVM both have one of the best vertical targeting systems at around like 30 or 40 degrees a second, which is great. This, not so much. Vertical targeting speed, 3.3 degrees a second. You will feel it. I promise. It sucks, okay? Uh, the uh, APS is still physical, so if this gets damaged, you've got to repair it, so on and so forth. And that's honestly really it. Also, I didn't want to forget this. It sucks. I'm sorry, okay? The timed explosive with time fuse, or the high explosive with time fuse, excuse me, sucks, okay? I've rarely been able to use this, and that 7.1 seconds of reload... I wouldn't use this for pretty much anything. In fact, I don't even have it equipped at any point. Instead, I just use the ATGM here, which is really good for some reason. I don't know why it is, but it is. Uh, but aside from that, Contact 5 all over the place, zero relic. Mobility is a little poor, 1,000 horsepower, cool, 60 kilometers. It may be as fast as the T-72B3, but the T-72B3 is torquier, which is very nice, at least with the UBH kit. 
So yeah, that's honestly really it, Gen 2 Thermal Sights. Uh, and yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy and see whether or not it's still a worthwhile vehicle to get, especially when it sits right behind the T-72B3. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, I think I uh, did forget to mention, this thing will always see 11.0, at least in my experience. I've rarely ever gotten to a 9.7 game, so <laughs> that's kind of a shame right there. But uh, yeah, we're up to your this map good sniping map uh i'm gonna try to hold down and just kind of sit back and see whether or not i can snipe because man those optics are so nice by the way here's the commander view it looks really nice i'll give it that just kind of gimmicky although that's some pretty good sight though yeah oh well you know this is funny actually because i think it's a perfect time to say that i was watching the uh, armchair historian i don't know if you guys know who that is and the video i was watching was life in east germany I don't know, I find uh, his stuff incredibly fascinating and it's, you know, being a history buff myself in terms of old stuff like that, it's definitely worth a look-see. So, while we wait here, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and maybe finish up the last video. Oh, or I can just get this guy instead. There we go, he is lazing me. Oh, of course he gets my breach. Nice shot, buddy. I mean, he knows uh, I lazed him now, but I want a six second repair. Keep going, keep going, stay, down, stay there, oh boy. Oh, <laughs> nice try, buddy. Uh, but where'd he go? There he is. Come on. Nope. This is, uh, God, 2,100 meters, man. It's hard to predict where they're going to be sitting at. Come on. Oh, he's got to knock out my preaching barrel. Come on. <laughs> I'm about to use a missile on this guy. 23 second repair. Ugh, jump cut time. Um, okay. I've got a lot of people shooting at me. I've got Abrams right here who is getting very, very close. I think that next shot is going to nail me. We'll see. But... Let's get him. Ooh. Oh, he actually goes through my turret. Ugh, this is going to be my life. And there's another one. <laughs> that actually hit my camera. That looked funny. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Oh, this is going to suck. Come on, guys. I got three people shooting at me. Come on. Not this time, buddy. I know that's 2,100 meters. Give me a second. To figure out how the hell I'm gonna knock these guys out. I know, I know, I know. Oh, and there goes my preach again! <laughs> Dude, these guys cannot kill me. I've been shot in the turret face so many freaking times. Come on. God is cannon barrel and everything. This the turret on this thing is great. Come on. There we go. Down his pipe too. Man, they are trying so hard, but I'm just tanking everything. <laughs> Albeit, I am getting my butt kicked a little bit. Come on. There we go. Engine loader. I got him in a really good spot. Oh, yeah. Come here. And give me a boot, please. Not the, quite the boot I was looking for, but at least he's burning. Right here in the ammo. Come on. Ugh. We're getting close. One more shot, I promise. Don't you steal my kill. There we go. Thank you. Hey, at least this makes for a really good sniping tank. <laughs> there's this guy again come on nope yeah this this is my life guys this is all we're doing sniping hey isn't this some of the content you guys have been saying hey why don't you play the tank right why don't you snipe with it that's what it's good for right well you're right but i'm gonna be sitting here the entire damn game just sniping these guys come on 12 seconds later Okay, I'm finally getting the hell out of that spot. <laughs> my God, just look at this. Lost a crew member. My uh, my new gunner is, is kind of pissed in blood right now. But like, just look at how my tank looks now. It's ridiculous how good this turret is. I love it. Imagine if the BVM had this turret. Whew. Things would be a lot more interesting with that tank. I'll be honest. This is such a pretty tank. I'm sorry. I can't get over the fact that this is such a pretty tank. I'm getting Battlefield 4 vibes all over the place. Dude, I really hope uh, Battlefield 2042 allows for the T90. Just, I, I'm going to go crazy. Which, by the way, I am getting that game. I didn't pre-order. And don't laze me. Hellfire, go away. Okay. Uh, I will be getting it. And I have a whole lot of plans for that game. It'll be very interesting. I promise. So uh, keep an eye out for my Discord or Twitter or wherever else I reside in, which is not too many places, just saying. Dude, the last of the enemy team is helicopters. That's it. How far is this guy? 
Uh, I can maybe hit him. I don't think he has a missile approach. But I did laze him, and he's going into the dirt. M22! I'm putting that in! <laughs> he's a friend of ours. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Nothing's happening. Off to the next one. I'm not kidding. This thing will never see a down tier. It's always going to get 11.0. 10.7 is a placebo. <laughs> yeah, just, just put this thing at 11.0. It's not going to see any difference. But you know what? I'm kind of hoping out for that. And yes, I know it's the event. Everyone in the grandmother is currently playing top tier. So I don't know. I usually find top tier to be a bit easier for these events, but not really. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it really goes. I may or may not be out with a video in the next coming days talking about how to do the event, at least in top tier. You know, in truth, I really want to get behind him. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, uh, I'm scared. I know there's going to be some dudes over here to the left or something. There's a friendly T-80 doing his job. Yeah. Always check both ways before crossing the street, guys. I'm not even kidding. It saves lives. It really does. I see tracks. And there's one right there. Hey, buddy. Very nice. Pop and smoke. Oh. Huh? Oh. Nice. Hey, buddy. You're welcome, I guess. What? I think he's pointing out something. Something front. Hostile. Gotcha. Ooh, got his driver loader. He did shoot. He... Yeah, he's, he's boned. <laughs> I got his loader, so he's done. Oh, no. And a boop right here. Lovely. Leopard 2A6. Hey, at least the uh, this finesse round, it can definitely do the job, but... It's still something you kind of got to worry about a little bit compared to, you know, DM-53, MA-291, etc. Got another Abrams to my right here. Front, direct. Will be coming this way. I know he hears me. I know you hear me, buddy. Come on. There he is. Oh, he's waiting for me. HSTVL. No, thanks. There he is. Oh, this reverse right sucks. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, I think he shot. I don't know if he shot or didn't. No, now he did, and he messed up. Lower glacis time. Or I can track him, but I did get his loader. Or he can do that too. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Somewhat good armor and potato shot. Oh. Oh, that actually scared the hell out of me, too. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we got a backup. This came in even over yet, and there's already one dude trying to spawn campus. Look at that. Uh, oh, he disappeared. Uh, I wonder. I wonder. There he is. Come on. Beautiful. Yeah, try uh, not to spawn campus early, yeah. I've got someone else in front of me, I think. Oh, I do. Yep. Ooh, crap. Yep. Lots of oh craps. Yep. There we go. Driver loader. I know my butt's on fire, but I'm going to try to get you real quick. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Nope. I should have instead tracked him. Or try to track him. And I'm dead. Damn. What a short-lived uh, second run. <laughs> all right. Off to the next one. Hey, so let's do that all over again, but except at night. Okay, it's kind of a Spongebob reference. Okay, so don't get on my butt about it. But yes, it looks like we're doing this again. But at night. Oh, and this kind of, you know, a good moment to show off our glowing eyes. Okay, not really. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, they do start on automatically. Turn them off at night. Otherwise, you're just shining to your whole enemy team that, hey, I'm right here. And you're illuminating your, your team too. So just a heads up. Oh. oh. Okay. He's got no breach. That poor unfortunate dude ran into three really mean barrels. Yikes. All right. Team's off to a good start, though. I've got a hostile Abrams front here. Could be an HTVL. Could be an Abrams. It's definitely an Abrams. Oh, this is risky. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, okay. Doink. <laughs> oh, dude. I just came back from Bravo. Really? 
Come on. How's the tank front? Oh. Dude, I thought that was a live tank right there. <laughs> I think he's got a friend though. I've got zero trust for this, just saying. Oh, I hear something to my left here. Does he know we're coming? I don't want to let this Le uh, Leclerc go first, but I kind of don't. So we're not going to. <laughs> oh, it's just an A that. Sorry. Sorry. I want anyone just kill this tank right here. Oh. Apparently he's over there instead. Where? There he is. That, you know what? Good teammates mark targets like that. I kid you not. If you die or in the process of about to, you know, be dead, do that, please. Mark your enemy uh, locations because that helped me out a ton. Oh, yeah, I definitely hear him. He's over to my right here somewhere. And he's dead. And apparently, so am I. As is my commander. I'm dead. Oh, yeah. And I burnt out. Damn it. So, it might look like we're playing with the Americans. And this guy's name is awesome. Guy Jiggles. <laughs> I forgot who came up with that term, but it's a funny one. But anyways, but in reality, it's just mostly Russia and two Americans. That's it. So, it may as well just be Russia versus everybody. All right? Just saying. But this will be fun. You know, in truth, I really don't like this spot. It just, it feels a little too exposed. Come on. There we go. Commander, gunner, engine, transmission. I can get the guy to the right, but I really want to waste this guy. I mean, not like he's going anywhere, right? There we go. And there's his teammate. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. Bad idea, boys. Come on, move forward, please. Eh, I got his driver in track. It's a poor little Charlie. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just get him. I know. I see the guy to the right. I see him, too. But uh, he's getting away. Yeah, he's gone for now. Or maybe, wait, wait, hold up. No, he's not. Uh, I underlet it. Nope. That's that's all me, and somebody shot him my left. It's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. One more. One more. Oh, uh, transmission, everything. Cool. Oh, no. I got to deal with this guy over here. Where was he, though? There we go. He's lazing me. And I got his commander breach. Woo. Oh, I kind of wish I had uh, HG rounds. That's... That's the biggest downside of the T90. It get, it does get the proxy rounds, or excuse me, not the proxy, the uh, VT fuse rounds, but they're just time fuse. That's it. I keep messing it up. I'm sorry. They're just terrible. They really are. They suck even against helicopters and just, I don't know, even with the whole auto range finding thing, it, it's still not really worthwhile keeping, not in my opinion, at least. All right, let's round two, buddy. Come on, let's make this count. Where are you? Shot. Oh, he's overexposing himself. <laughs> you overexpose. Oh, it's one of my guys. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Hold up. Someone on A. Oh. Oh. I have an idea. Hey, uh, that's probably not it. I don't think that's what shot me. That wasn't it. Nope. Go and get him anyway. Oh, it's definitely someone else. Come on. Back it up. Oh, now it was him. And boop. <laughs> I gotta find out where that other shot came from, though. Come on. That's where it came from. Got you. Oh, yeah. Nice try. Oh, it was a ZTC-99. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now, where are those guys on A? Oh, of course. Well, boys... In my effort of just being a, uh, a committed sniper, I'm the last one on the floor. Eh, except for maybe one more, but uh, this, this game's lost for us. Oh, well. You know what? We had a good run. Five kills deep. We had a good run. Why do I always get the heli maps? <laughs> Can I get, like, a nice, flat, urban environment, cargo port or something? Not these... Ugh. Okay, I know. I'm complaining for the dumbest things. Okay, but I'm just trying to put this tank in a proper situation because these ones are just not it, I think. Oh, I potatoed that shot, though. Oops. All right, I'm not the only one. Come on. Follow up or not. <laughs> All right. Oh, maybe. Yes. Uh, I didn't get his commander, though. He can shoot at me. Oh, don't laze me. Aha. Uh, he's done. Thank you, turret armor. <laughs> Oh. 
we're right there. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get everything, but I've got most of what I need to get, I guess. One down low, multiple down low. Commander Gunner, he's going to be backing up now. He's going to pop smoke. Oh, I don't think he realized it came from up here. I mean, I'll take it. I think he's got a friend behind him. Oh, I, I guess that was him the whole time. Nice. We're super exposed, though. I got to leave. Hold up. Right in his ammo. <laughs> got a German cook-off going on. <laughs> keep going. Keep going that way. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, this poor dude. Oh, no. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's leaving. All right. You know what? I'll take his ammo, though. And he's got a friend. Very nice. I got his engine. Oh, I didn't get his turret ring, though. He can't fire on us if he sees us, which he doesn't. Lovely. Very nice. And an assist on him. Awesome. Oof. This spot right here is mischievous as hell. If you don't have thermal sights, you can't really see what comes this way. We got an enemy uh, floor rack rad. No, it's a... Uh, oh, yeah, floor rack rad. I think I got it right. Whatever. It's the German bang bus. Is that ad friendly? I really hope it is. Come on. Trying to get this driver here. Come on. Let's do this instead. There we go. Oh, and of course, so run, little German bus, run. <laughs> and we're back up. Does he see us? Oh. Well, he does, but it doesn't really mean much anymore. You see, when I said this thing has like one of the best freaking turrets for the Russians. I wasn't kidding. It's good. I mean, granted, we've breached a few times, but that's kind of a given for everybody. Oh, I hear something behind me. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Well, since when does an SU-7 sound like that? And then I realized, um, that's not an SU-7. That is something British, is my guess. So let's slowly back on up out of here and go get him. I hear him. Oh, he's, he's right in front of us. Uh, I mean, he's kind of boned. Yeah, he's he's very much boned. Hey, how you doing, free kill? Nice to meet you. Boop. <laughs> sorry. I know I just bullied a British tank. I'm sorry, guys. I know they suffered quite a bit. So in truth, I fully expect you to do... Well, not really great in the T90 because it's a vehicle that doesn't really fit in the meta. Okay, I know I hate using that phrase very much, but it's the honest truth. It's not a fast vehicle. Its turret traverse is pretty subpar for the most part. Its vertical targeting speed is one of the biggest Achilles heels on this thing, and it drives me nuts sometimes. But aside from that, we were able to tank some pretty good hits, mostly at distance. And yes, I was slightly passive with this vehicle, meaning that I wasn't just being the first one in the fight. I was just playing right behind my team and I was able to pretty much mop up what they weren't able to really get and just kind of play anchor a little bit. Granted, it's not really my personal play style, but it suited it very well. And it kind of puts in a weird position because look at a vehicle like the T-80 BVM, which has excellent firepower, great mobility and excellent armor for the most part, maybe not as good as this in terms of the turrets, but it's able to excel at pretty much everything this vehicle can while having... I think Gen 2 or Gen 3 thermal sites were th as this has, I think, Gen 2. However, it's still, at least in my opinion, a worthwhile vehicle looking into as part of your lineup. As a primary vehicle, maybe not. I really wouldn't say that. I would say maybe the T-72B3 would be more well-suited for this type of gameplay, both passive as well as an aggressive, whereas this is just more passive than anything else. But let's be honest here, this is a gorgeous looking tank and I love seeing it every single time and it most certainly sits very comfortably in my 10.7, even 11.0 lineups as you can see right here. It's always going to be there no matter what and it's something I say, yes, definitely look into. It's a great backup vehicle and can serve pretty well as a primary as well as having really good repair costs. Look at that, 3,300. That is subject to change. I don't talk about it often, but there it is, 3,300, whereas the BVM is sitting at 
about twice that, <laughs> which is still very cheap. Come on, guys. <laughs> you make the 2A6 and the, the Abrams, you know, 12,000 repair costs, but this is superior to in many ways, and it's 6,700. You're killing me here, guys. But I guess it is what it is. So I want to know what you guys think. Is the T90 still a worthwhile vehicle? Is it maybe not? Maybe you want to get it. Maybe you don't. Feel free to let me know down in the comment section below, as I genuinely want to hear what you think about our old Boris the Biased Balancer. I think I, I think I called the old video. I forgot. It's been a while, okay, guys? I have like 200 videos up. Anyway, so with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy everything. If you want to see this type of gameplay live, I will be grinding out most of the event over on my live stream on Twitch. If you guys want to check that out, come join on in. We do mostly play top tier, and I do vehicle requests for you guys if you want to see whatever vehicle you want, as I do have, I think, every single ground vehicle in the game, except for certain event ones and certain premium ones. But you know what I mean, okay? So, again, last time, I promise. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy everything, and I'll see you guys not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until next time.